the dude with the Gislane thing on our oh fuck we never talked about no, that no yeah so people don't know Gislane Maxwell is the mistress of our good friend friend of the show Jeffrey Epstein uh, rest in peace God bless his soul yeah. a true American who was murdered a inside hero. a prison he's a hero by uh, people who don't believe in free speech <laughs> The cancel culture, the PC he police. He was murdered by the, cult, the, by the, the, woke, the woke secret police, the shadow. <laughs> and his mistress went on a trial for human trafficking, and she actually got charged, which yeah. was kind of crazy. And they're trying to get her the yak now. Yeah. They want her the spill the beans. What do you think about that? Uh, with how fast it left the the spotlight, which was probably four days, I think I counted after the after like the verdict was given. Right. Uh, I think that was the plan over after i'll just be like here's the final say on it it's crazy i saw a post it was crazy it was like it was like Ghislaine maxwell is the first person convicted of uh of uh human trafficking to have trafficked them to no one <laughs> it seems that there was no one that was being trafficked to but she's going to jail for 60 years so that's what's weird to me about it and uh i don't know i imagine whitney webb will come out with something new soon. She's coming out with her book soon. I don't She's know what pregnant. it's called. She's pregnant. I think she already yeah. had the child, so there's yeah. a pause on that. That's yeah. a conspiracy too. But no, I think it was def- it the verdict is good. Obviously that's good. But obviously the buck is just going to stop there because they can't, like that, right. nothing has happened unless they get her to talk and if they try to get her to talk, they'll have her kill herself. Right. So we're in kind of like a... She'll be suicided. Stymied, yeah. And do you know why it got covered up? Because you know when it came out. What happened after it? January 6th. And Kamala oh, yeah. Harris was like, this was practically 9-11. Yeah. This was 9-11 of our country. That was such a lame speech. It was funny. It was really funny. Did she say 9-11 and Pearl Harbor? And Pearl Harbor. Combined. Can we get... Yeah. Can she we, got two generations pissed. Can we get back to make, maybe making the groceries at the store like a dollar cheaper? Yeah. Can we get back to it instead of talking about... You know, I get it. His presidency was bad. Listen, I get it. It was not good. Not and good. I understand that. But hey, a bunch of little rascals went to the White House. A few people died. It's not good, and we're not celebrating it. But it's not compared to. It's people. not nine eleven. And for some reason, I don't understand why she took two plane-oriented tragedies and compared them to a non-plane-oriented tragedy. It doesn't even make any fucking <laughs> sense. The yeah, one of them. One, one of them. They went to both of them. We went into went the to largest war. wars, the longest wars, and the biggest <laughs> in history. Two wars. The other one, they elected a Democrat afterwards. Yeah, That's it. what are we talking about? This is crazy. Like, <laughs> what, dude? One, what, one was a, a two were maybe even three were were you know false flags, but. Okay, they're all false flags, but to a degree, to, a, to a degree, they have nine eleven and January six more so false flags in Pearl Harbor. I don't know much it's like that. It's not false flags. It's just, it's you just know, more, there was, it was various messy. people who made off of both yeah, tragedies. Yeah, definitely. And 9-11 did. definitely is a false flag of a sense, but it's funny that like the pre- like if you look at January 6th, what's the president, funny about the that? President, you know, what's <laughs> funny about people taking, ruining one of our most sanctioned, san- what a place of <laughs> sanctity. <laughs> One of our more sacred places. It was burned down like 200 years ago by people doing the same fucking thing. And you support yes. fascists walking into our American democracy Listen. And, and trampling on sacred tradition? You're laughing at that. Kamala Harris is a saint. Sanctioned by the Pope. You racist bigot asshole. <laughs> I apologize. I, they put they put you black. Didn't say they, sorry they, very they well. Put, they put. I was going into a deeper <laughs> felt apology. They put black and brown lives like Ocasio Cortez on the line. They did. And I wasn't thinking when I made that. You uh, didn't. That chuckle. This is about, about progressivism. That. Yeah. This is about say. This is about senators who love children. They. <laughs> This is about representatives of the country. Ped- the pedophile no, representation. don't say that. They're honest Americans. LGBTQ P plus. <laughs> you know what the P stands for. Right, right. They love God. 
They're they're good God fearing Americans, and you know what? They know how to make a dime. And I don't like hearing on this news them going at my girl boss Pelosi talking about how she sold stocks before a pandemic or something like that, and insider trading among many senators. I think it's harassment and libel, and these people should be held to the highest court and possibly killed. <laughs> So if you're going to, if you're going to, what'd you say? <laughs> to protect the free market. If you're going to, if you're, <laughs> if you've had enough talk and smack about the greatest country in the world, led by uh, 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 a sweet old man who has never had, has never done anything weird with children ever. There's no, uh, there's no photos. No, I've and, never. And he's never tripped up a sentence once in never? his life. No, he's a perfect speaker. He speaks perfect English. Perfect Mandarin. Perfect. <laughs> he, he speaks Braille, I'm told. <laughs> sign language. He's never tripped up on anything. He's never supported any sort of, like... You're right. Actions against Nothing. marginalized groups before. No, he's he, never called them super he, predators once. He's. I've ne never heard that word spoken. I've never heard him compare, uh, compare marginalized group to white kids. Nope. I've never heard him... Uh, you know, even though he might have been the, he was the vice president of someone who passed gay marriage. You know that Joe Biden was supporting that in the 1960s and you're, there's a picture. Have you seen this? We could find it of, uh, I think it's Joe Biden. It might be some other Democrat or independent, uh, in 1960 at a college being arrested during a protest and he has these kooky little glasses on and really? he's, he's a little scrawny yeah, that guy. That must've Biden. been Joe Biden. It's yeah. Joseph R. Biden. You know, yeah. I saw another picture of Joe Biden at the march with Martin Luther King. I believe he was holding his hand. <laughs> <laughs> I believe he was he was lovingly uh, sniffing the hair of Martin Luther King's child. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? And you're and also our vice president, the first black woman yeah. ever? She's yeah. almost president. You know what vice president <laughs> means? That means number two in line, boss oh, bitch. Oh, they meant she was about to be. Do you know who else was one of the greatest, greatest vice presidents of all time? Who? Dick Cheney. So v M K Kamala, Kamala Ding Dong Harris <laughs> is sitting in the same spot <laughs> as Dick Cheney, and you don't think that's anything to be proud of? True. She had her 9-11 just like he did. And I'm sure she's going to take advantage of it just and make as much money off of it as he did. We're going to find out photos like years later of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris like with the guy with the horns like 20 years later. And they're like, he was in on it. We knew it. See, there he is. That's Joseph, Joe Biden. Our president. That's our president. That's Joe Biden. If people don't understand, they never see this picture before. They should look up. If you want to look up where this picture of Joe Biden is. Yeah, see right there in the red. Oh, side. look. Yeah. Yeah. If you Joe want Biden. to look up this picture of Joe Biden, look up Bernie Sanders at the Martin Luther <laughs> King Jr. March. I believe he was also there as well. He's not photographed with him. He's them. not in the photo, but this is Joe Biden. That this is, is Joe, Joe Biden. Biden. Yeah. So just look up Bernie Sanders at the Martin Luther King Jr. March, and you'll yeah. find a picture of Joe Biden with a big red circle around him. <laughs> mm-hmm.